The Aeronautical Information Service, AIS, has been established to ensure that the flow of all aeronautical information necessary for the safe and efficient navigation of international air traffic is maintained. Annex 15 of the ICAO Convention specifies the requirements for this important provision. The introduction of RNAV, Required Navigation Performance Standards, and Airborne Computer-Based Systems, has made the provision of accurate information all the more important, as corrupt or erroneous data can potentially seriously affect the safety of air navigation. All contracting states are therefore required to provide an aeronautical information service or agree with another contracting state or states for the provision of a joint service or delegate the authority for the service to a non-governmental agency provided that they meet the standards and recommended practices of Annex 15 of the ICAO Convention. Contracting states producing an aeronautical information service will be responsible for the quality, accuracy of and timely publication of the information produced. All information so published shall be clearly identified as being verified and published under the authority of the state. If information is issued that cannot be verified, then it must be so marked. Where a 24-hour service is not available locally, a contracting signatory is mandated to provide an aeronautical information service for the whole period aircraft are in flight, within that state's regional area of responsibility, plus a period of at least two hours before and after such flights. It shall also provide a pre-flight and in-flight information service from the Aeronautical Information Service of another contracting state or from any other reliable source. A contracting state's Aeronautical Information Service shall receive and or originate, collate or assemble, edit, format, publish, store and distribute aeronautical information and data concerning its entire area of responsibility. This information shall be published as an integrated aeronautical information package. The effective dissemination of aeronautical information is essential to aircraft operations and safety, and the integrated aeronautical information package contributes to this being achieved. It consists of the Aeronautical Information Publication, AIP, and an amendment service, supplements to the Aeronautical Information Publication, NOTAMs and Pre-Flight Information Bulletins, Aeronautical Information Circulars, AICs, Checklists and Summaries. A National Aeronautical Information Publication is primarily intended to facilitate the international requirement for the exchange of aeronautical information of a lasting character essential to air navigation. It is designed to be usable in flight and could be construed as the definitive sourcebook for permanent aeronautical information and long-duration temporary changes. The document is divided into three main parts. In loose leaf form, it will be individually numbered and dated. Part 1, General, Gen. Part 2, En Route, ENR. And Part 3, Aerodrome Directory, AD. Here is the content of the general section of the AIP in some detail. Scroll up and down to see what it contains. And here is the en route section. And finally, 
the aerodrome section of the AIP. The aeronautical information publication is to include in part one the following. A statement defining the competent authority responsible for the air navigation facilities and a list of the services covered by the aeronautical information publication. The general conditions under which the services are available for international use. An easily understandable list of the significant differences between the national regulations and practices and procedures of the state and the related ICAO standards recommended practices and procedures the state alternatives to any differences from the ICAO SARPs. Any aeronautical charts relating to aerodromes, instrument approaches and standard arrival or departure procedures replicated in the aeronautical information publication are to be in a form that allows easy distribution to users. Any changes made to the aeronautical information publication, be they new information or small corrections, shall be identified by a distinctive symbol or annotation. Naturally, the aeronautical information publication will be kept up to date and or reissued as necessary. Operationally, significant amendments to the aeronautical information publication will be issued as an Aeronautical Information Regulation and Controls, AERAC, each of these will be identified as such by use of its title, AERAC, and its effective date. Temporary changes of three months or longer and short-term amendments that contain extensive text or graphics are published as supplements to the Aeronautical Information Publication. Each is serially numbered, coloured yellow and added to the Aeronautical Information Publication as supplement pages for the duration of the change. Supplement checklists are issued monthly so that obsolescent information can be deleted.